lately about the higher prices of groceries. It's forcing some really difficult choices for millions of families who count on government food assistance, assistance that is not going as far now. Ali Vitali reports. Get some cereal on. The later it gets in the month, if we can afford them now, the further Eric Tucker's grocery budget has to stretch. If I can feed my family for 10, 12 bucks a night, that works. What happens when you get towards the end of the month? Less snacks. The father of two boys in Orange County, California, lost his home and job during the pandemic and joined SNAP, the government's supplemental nutrition assistance program, previously called food stamps, to help feed his family. You want any noodles? It's forced some tough choices in the checkout line. What's that been like? Humiliating. You got to pick and choose your battle. Who am I going to upset? My, myself, my kid, what kid? You know, um, it's not going to be the full, full fulfillment of a meal. The decisions made in these aisles go way beyond dollars and cents. Staying on budget can mean the difference between fruits and vegetables being swapped out for less costly sugary cereals and processed foods. All right, what else you boys want? But a new boost to the SNAP program could mean less pasta. Traditional and more produce for the one in eight Americans who use it to feed their families. Last month, SNAP upped its benefits by more than 25 percent. Families now get an average of $36 more per person each month. For Eric and his kids, that boost puts them at $606 a month, or just over $6 per person a day. It's just been a big, you know, blessing for us. That extra money doesn't go as far these days. You might have more that you can budget with, but things also cost more, right? Milk went up a dollar, I think, a gallon. My kids eat a lot of cereal, and we do a lot of pasta, and, you know, milk's, yeah, a necessity. So, but when the prices went up without the, the blessing of the SNAP going up, um, it was like, okay, we're going to cut back on, you know, the things we used to eat. Higher prices, combined with the pandemic's continued financial fallout, also means leaning more heavily on food banks to fill the gaps of what SNAP can't cover. Gregory Scott runs this one in Southern California. Their demand for food tripled in 2020 and is likely to stay that way. We had many, many people who we called newly vulnerable who had never been in line before were now um, dealing with food insecurity and hunger. Now, the table's set for the holidays. I've gotten to a, 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 a spot in life where I had to bite my pride. And Eric's table, fuller than it would have been. Other men and, and families need to know that there is resources out there, and we just need to ask for help. Ali Vitali, NBC News, Los Angeles. Tonight, remembering a legend with 